What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and today I'm gonna be going over weapon blueprints in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I've seen a ton of people online asking what exactly blueprints are, how do you equip or unlock a blueprint, and so, so much more. So today, we're gonna be discussing all of this because more than likely, once you understand how to utilize them, you may become a better player. So let's check it out. So first you should know what exactly a weapon blueprint is and essentially it's kind of similar to a weapon variant except anyone can customize the functions of the weapon as long as you have the attachments unlocked but the blueprint is going to come with a custom loadout already applied to the weapon and again you can customize the loadout and interchange the attachments to fit the play style you'd like to use with the weapon. Now how to equip a weapon blueprint it's pretty simple all you have to do is find a weapon that has a blueprint unlocked and the way you can see that is if you go into any one of the base weapons and you can scroll to the right and it should say the total number of blueprints you have so for the m4a1 you can see that I have a total of one and I have the XRK and you can also see all the attachments that come with this blueprint and then I have one for the 725 shotgun which is called the hammer and then you can just simply press a or X and you can equip the blueprint now what's also really cool about blueprints is you can use a weapon that you may not have unlocked as long as you have the blueprint which I'm gonna be talking about in a second here but you can also unlock other blueprints by completing multiplayer challenges so by going over into the barracks and then a multiplayer challenges and then scrolling over to missions you can view all of the weapon blueprints that are available to be unlocked so for the first one we have the piercer which is a blueprint for the mp7 but the base mp7 can only be unlocked at level 54 which is one level off the max level at 55 but like I said earlier you can unlock this blueprint and then use the mp7 even though you're not at level 54 which is really really nice because it makes the game not so grindy to get the weapons you want and instead you can just complete some of the challenges to use the weapons you want that may require a little bit of more time to play in the game in order to unlock so weapon blueprints are very very nice I like them so much more better than weapon variants that were in previous Call of Duty games so very very good thing to use it's customizable and you can also even create your own weapon blueprint and the way you do that is by going over into the custom loadouts and then you select the weapon you want to customize to the selected play style you want to use so for the p90 here I've customized this weapon to play more aggressive um, I have all the attachments already selected and like I said I want to play something that's just super quick super fast in your face style of play and then yeah yeah, so I have all the attachments selected and then to save this blueprint you press L2 and then I'm gonna name this the P90 frenzy and there you go I've already created a blueprint variant for the P90 called the P90 frenzy unfortunately you can only save a blueprint if you have five attachments equipped but I'm not sure if that's a bug right now because you think that shouldn't matter plus also um, I've removed all of the attachments on the M4 and I'm still able to save the blueprint even though doesn't have any attachments on there so I think it's a bug but right now you can also only save a blueprint if you have five attachments selected and also unfortunately you can only save one custom blueprint a total of one now I do think you will be able to save more in the future whether that's through purchasing the battle pass or maybe infinity ward will just flat out allow more access to save blueprints um, but either way though it's still a very very good thing I love them so much more better than weapon variants and yeah that's just a quick rundown of weapon blueprints there's also different rarities of blueprints that come with different attachments that take more time to unlock um, there's you know rare epic and of course common so yeah just basically how it was in previous Call of Duty games with the rarity system and yeah that's just how blueprints work guys please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments thanks so much for watching love y'all so so much till next time I'll see you guys later